Center Chapter 4 The Smart Editor The Smart Editor In addition to the regular web editor, a so-called Smart Editor is installed on the IPCC. It serves for the configuration of control pages perfectly suitable for the browsers of smartphones. Its operation is simple and intuitive. The smart visualizations designed with it have a thoroughly structurized display and operation concept. The smart Visu is optimized for mobile browsers for all smartphones and IP control screens. The main type of operation is direct control from a list. More complex operations such as blinds or HVAC control offer also a pop-up dialogue. All settings for and in the smart editor are accomplished like in the regular web editor. For security purpose, the smart editor can be secured with a different password. It must be defined in the regular web editor. The password for the smart Visu is the same like that one for the graphical Visu. The password for the Smart Editor must be configured in the Web Editor as shown before in Chapter 1. By default, there is no password defined. Hint! You cannot open both editors simultaneously. The handling of the Smart Editor is quite simple and easy to manage. You start with the button Configuration on the Editor page right on top where projects are created and named. Here you also configure the appearance of the Smart Visu, like background color, icon styles and alignment. The buttons Import and Export are identical to the buttons Backup and Restore in the regular web editor, which serve for backing up and restoring the project on the commissioning PC. In the site Topology, on the left, a discipline or function group is added via the folder icon. This icon thus is used to create the structure of the project. The folders are links on a main page, which each of them open a list or page of individual display and control functions. The starting point is an icon for a discipline or a function group with a sensible name. If you click on the icon, you can change it using a list of four different group of icons, states, menu, functions and control. After having selected the proper icon, enter a sensible name for it and, if required, also a password. The button Save adds the new group icon to the list in the topology. After the before last entered group icon. In each discipline you can now add functions as a submenu by either clicking on the plus icon in front or a double click on the line of the discipline. In each of the nine pre-configured functions now you find already prepared icons with communication lists for all possible display and operation options. The selected function must also be assigned with the proper type, right drop-down menu. The type selection also selects the proper objects and icons. In my example for switching, you see three icons for on, off, and status. So you see, everything is already there. A manual function configuration is not necessary. These icons yet have to be linked to the corresponding group address or communication objects. After you have done this, the function is complete and can, after its activation, be used. This makes it easy and quick to design the control pages of the Smart Visu. The function operation later depends on the tick mark Confirm Action. If set 
Each control must be confirmed in a pop-up window. Click on Save on the lower right means the function is inserted into the list of the discipline or function group. Now all functions are arranged in the function list. Clicking on Activate sets the Smart Visu control page in the N152 active, like the HTML export of the regular web editor. From now on, you can open the Smart Visu and use the designed functions. For a better understanding, let's have a small example. We want to add a further function in the existing visualization. I want to create a display of the current cumulated power of the electricity supply. The related variable is a virtual process point, which is the result of adding all individual e-meters power displays. So at first I add a new folder and call it e-meters. I use a sensible icon for it, then save the folder. Then I have to add a new function to this folder. I want to see a value. So as function I choose status general and subtype status value. Here I have to name it total power and link the virtual process point. Afterwards, the change has to be transferred to the IPCC by hitting the Activate button. Let's call up the changed page now. Remember, you must use the IP address of the IPCC plus the extension slash smart. In my case, I use a dynamic name server address instead because my IPCC is not at my place, but remote. If the Smart Visu is newly opened, the new function will be found right away. If you had it already open before, you must apply a refresh first in order to get it displayed properly. Sometimes you even have to clear the cache of your browser. Don't worry now to navigate in the Smart Visu. The required buttons are already there. Jumping one page back is the button left below. Jumping to the home page, the button below on the right. Hint: Both types of visualization offered by the IPCC can be opened simultaneously. All status displays will be synchronized at once.